Well, I didn't think I was going to like this. So guys, the guitars in that demo you've just seen were all recorded with this preamp pedal from TC Electronic. It's a new entry into their Ampwork series of preamp pedals and TC have been kind enough to share the latest pedals in that range with us. This particular pedal is replicating a PV5150. So guys, as I alluded to at the beginning of this video, I wasn't really expecting to love this pedal but man, it really surprised me. I don't tend to do an awful lot of kind of high gain playing myself these days. I tend to favor sort of lower gain overdrives, but this pedal just really inspired me to make that demo track, which, you know, I thought was testament to the sounds you can get out of this pedal. So we've heard the pedal, but what features can we expect from it? Before I tell you all about the features of this pedal, if you are enjoying the video and you like the content on the channel, do consider subscribing and liking the video. It does help us out, cheers. So features then, you've got two foot switchable channels, a green and a red channel. The green channel is your cleaner channel, although it does get quite overdriven. And then your red channel is your high gain channel. My demo track focused mainly on the red channel, but you can get some kind of push cleans out of the green channel all the way up to pretty high gain, to be honest, out of the green channel. On top of both of those channels, you've got a foot switchable boost and a switch on the back of the pedal lets you choose whether that boost is pre or post preamp. Also on the back of the pedal, you've got a presence knob allowing you to really tweak the tone of the pedal. If you've got some dark humbuckers, you can bring in a little bit more presence, or if you're finding that the single coil sounds in this, in this pedal are too bright, you can take the presence back a bit. Just like the other pedals in the Antworks range, you've got two outputs. One has no cab sim on it, Great for using with a IR loader pedal or in your DAW if you want to load in your favorite uh, IRs. And then the other output has a cab sim on it uh, replicating a 4x12 uh, Celestian Greenback. A couple of pros and cons then before we wrap up and I like to start with the cons and finish on the positives. So there's no stereo in this pedal much like the rest of the pedals in the range. Um, we don't have the ability to load our own IRs in this pedal. Um, and also we're still using a uh, mini USB, which is you know, really quite a dated USB connector in 2023. A very short cons list there. Uh, the pros for me far outweigh the cons in this pedal. So first and foremost, the sound. Like I say, this pedal really inspired me to make a, a demo track. And I, I honestly haven't really had that in any of the pedal that I've used recently. So. Yeah, it sounds really good. Features to price ratio. Now, you get an awful lot of features in this pedal for the price you pay, right? If you look at the other pedals on the market, sure, you might get a few more features. Uh, they might be a bit more involved with the kind of switching and routing you can do with it. Uh, but realistically, those pedals are several hundred pounds more than this one. You're talking under 150 pounds, 150 euros, uh, for this pedal, which is really, really impressive for the features and the sounds that they're packed into this. And finally, ease of use. It's so easy to use this pedal. There's no mucking around with MIDI, no connecting it to a computer to get your sounds and your presets. It just works. You just dial in the tone that you want and you're away. 
So what's my verdict on this pedal then? Well, it's probably not going to come as much of a surprise to say that I really, really like it. Honestly, I can't believe how much I like it. Uh, this pedal really, really surprised me. I said it at the beginning of the video. Uh, I wasn't expecting to like this pedal and, you know, playing around with it for, for 10 minutes and suddenly I was inspired to write some music. And I think that is really key to this pedal, right? I was able to get it set up, have a quick play on it, find some sounds I like, and immediately I was into recording mode. I, you know, I had this plugged into my interface. I used the onboard cab sim, so I wasn't mucking around having to load in IRs or anything like that. I was just good to go, got a recording, and yeah, the track at the beginning is what came out. I think TC Electronic are really onto something with these pedals. The price point that they're at makes them really obtainable to people that are on a bit of a budget. You know, again, if you compare them to the competition on the market, you're paying a lot more money for those pedals. You could quite easily buy two or three of these pedals for the price of some of the competition. Now, maybe three is a bit of a stretch, but you get my point, right? So, you know, you could have a pretty versatile recording setup with a clean amp, a high gain amp, uh, you know, for all for a couple of hundred pounds. And I just think, yeah, they're really, really onto something. Thanks again to TC Electronic for supplying this pedal for us to check out on the channel. We have looked at pretty much all of the pedals in the Antworks range, so do make sure you check out the channel to catch those other videos. Finally, a shout out to my Pedal Balls of Doom co-host, Josh. He took the MIDI from this uh, track and uh, tweaked it a bit, mixed the drums, made it sound awesome. So cheers, Josh. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks so much for watching. I've been Jason for Pedal Boards of Doom and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.